man, the supreme of all the creatures. And this creature is the ruling species on planet Earth. But if you look at the situations around, man has managed to make a mess of everything on a global scale and at an individual level too. Look at yourself and the people around you. So much stress, disappointments and unhappiness. People running around in search of means to be stress-free, including psychiatrists, psychologists, tranquilizers, gods and still not at peace. Why? because they are missing the right place to look for. Everything you want, every solution you seek is inside you yourself. As I thought more about it, I realized few things about how the mind functions. The human mind is not just one entity there are subdivisions. There is a conscious mind which we use all the time and then there is a subconscious mind. It is at the subsurface below the surface. There are different names for it. Some call it the unconscious, inner voice, and even soul. The subconscious mind wants peace, it wants happiness and it keeps warning you against doing the wrong that might have repercussions not favorable for us. That is why we hear people say they were stopped from doing something by that small inner voice. The subconscious follows instincts that are naturally programmed in the brain's software. But evolution did something very fantastic and very destructive. The conscious mind became very powerful and it took over the subconscious. The conscious mind thinks and it thinks way too much. Why? When? How? And all this overthinking is in fact stopping us from achieving happiness or from having faith in anything or anyone. It's leading to stress. It is not letting us live peacefully in the day or sleep peacefully at night. The balance between the conscious and the subconscious is lost and this balance needs to be restored for a peaceful existence. Now there is a good news. The situation is not out of control. It can be reversed. The conscious mind is programmable because it is a software which is running the hardware we call the body. I discovered that the subconscious mind can easily program the conscious but only if we allow it to and if we let it command the conscious we can easily achieve contentment and happiness in life without having to depend on anyone else. I will explain why I am using the word programmable. You can program it to accept the positive and reject the negative. And this is exactly what meditation does. It shuts out the conscious mind and that is why there is a sudden feeling of peace and tranquility everywhere. Now the question is, how is this programming done? Can I do it myself? 
the answer is yes and all you have to do is talk to yourself yes talk to yourself tell yourself it's okay i'm fine tell yourself i won't be stressed and i refuse to be sad i refuse to be stressed it's all okay refuse the inflow of negative energies you feel stressed you feel sad it is fine it is absolutely normal but don't let those feelings overpower you for a long time talk to yourself tell your mind it is fine everything will be fine and you will see that after a while slowly you will be able to make the mind follow your instructions the downside it is a slow process you have taken 25 30 35 years to reach this stage and it will take time to undo it and reprogram it because you are undoing and you are unlearning which is more difficult than doing and learning so start early and make a small progress every day and remember the key to be happy to be stress free is within you and only you can find it what you want to be is already inside of you and you have to just program your mind to remove the negative thoughts so that you can find the key to a happy and stress-free life think about it